Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him! Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come! Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Manny. At last, we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive, we slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? I'm chasing a woman I met once and can't forget. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. Here it goes. <laughs> hey, how about another poem? Okay. Ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes. To ashes to ashes to me. To ashes to ashes to ashes to ashes. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour.
I'm not gonna. Don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Buenas noches, comrades. Hey, Manny, no offense, but we don't have time for establishment types like yourself. What makes you guys think I'm so establishment? You smell like bacon and oppression, man. Okay. Hey, kids. Sorry, Manny. No room for the bourgeois in our revolution. <laughs> yeah, man. No room for the big fat cat from the uptown party that didn't send our invitations to the working class. Hola. What of it, Mr. Wheeler, Mr. Dealer, Mr. Loves the Apples but Hates the Apple Peeler? Hola. Get a whiff of your privilege, your big belches of entitlement. I'd vomit, but there's no food in my belly, because I won't play the man's game. Calavera, it is indeed... Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolución. Oh, man. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? We hear you, daddy. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes, 
Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang, I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! One, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week, on the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but, uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I can't tolerate all this injustice. I'm leaving. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees. They do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. 
What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Hey, Terry, that was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry. I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick, before the movement loses its butts. How you holding up, hero? Manny, you gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. I'm working on it. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. Reward offered for car including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. Open it up on the straightaway, Skitty! You can do it! Get that mouse! Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that, and I can do the same to you, Calavera.
So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. A friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? What's that? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Nah, he'd see me do it. You got it! How's tricks, Nick? Oh, nah. Baby. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you are gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Man, this is going to get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. It looks like Boeing tax stuff that I don't need. It looks like Boeing tax stuff that I don't need. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. I had no idea you liked gambling so much, Gladys. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rollers loud, Doc, can they? Punch it, buddy! You got it! Come on, baby!